In this video, I'm gonna share eight simple tips to help you improve your comfort on your bike. And we'll start straight away with tire pressure. This one is free, doesn't cost you anything, but makes a big, big change to comfort your experience on your bike, whether you're racing or doing sport teams. I know way too many cyclists who are running their tires at maximum pressure, far too much air for the roads they're riding on. It's a hangover from the old days when you went by the max tire pressure rating on a sidewall. So 120 PSI in 23 mil tires was fairly normal. But these days, they're much better understanding and awareness of the benefits of low tire pressures and are definitely not slow. But how low do you go? What's the right tire pressure for you? Well, do as I do and use a free app or website. I'll put a link to them down below. That lets you punch in your details like bike weight, rider weight, the road surface you're riding on and gives you a recommended pressure. And in my experience, they work really well and results in way more comfort for free. And running low tire pressures allows the tire to flex and absorb all the bumps and ripples in the road surface. The rougher they are, the lower you want to go. And a really cheap, inexpensive tool I recommend as well is a pressure gauge like this. Put on the valve, tells you your tire pressure and you can easily check whether your tires are too high or too low. I'll put a link to that down below. I use that on every single ride because with tubeless, you might lose a bit of air over time. One tip down and seven to go. And my next one is to fit wider tires to your bike. Gives you a bigger air volume and that provides more cushioning where you're riding roads, gravel or forest trails. Yes, it will cost you new tires, but tires don't last forever. So when the next wear out and need replacing, consider going wider. Back when I started riding road bikes and mountain bikes, tires were narrow. 21 and 23 on road bikes and 1.8 on mountain bikes. Gravel bikes, of course, hadn't been invented yet. These days, I run nothing narrower than a 27 or 28. These are 27s, but most road bikes, like this Envy here, will take really wide tires. There's space here between the rear stays for up to a 35 millimeter wide tire. So you fit a nice wide tire, get all the air volume and low pressure benefits and give you a smooth ride and therefore more comfort when riding on the generally crappy road surfaces most of us have to contend with. But which tires to choose? That's a good question. There are lots and lots out there. Let me know your recommendation by leaving a comment down below. And I am planning a big group test of tires coming up very soon. And that, I reckon, is a good reason to hit the subscribe button down below. Tip number three is your position and fit on a bike, which can have a huge impact on your comfort on a ride. A bike like this is designed for racing, so very aggressive. Low handlebars, high saddle, designed to put you in an aerodynamic position. But on the downside, if you're not used to it and not prepared for it, can put a lot of strain on your neck muscles, your shoulders, your back, and your arms as well. So a bike with a more upright position, like an endurance bike, for example, with the handlebars higher and a shorter reach from the saddle to the handlebars can relieve the stress and strain you feel on a long ride, putting less pressure through your hands and your neck and the shoulders and leaving you feeling better at the end of a ride. You can go a step further with a hybrid or even a mountain bike with a much higher front end and the handlebars way higher in relation to the saddle, giving you more comfort when you're riding along the road or trail. As well as choosing the right type of bike is making sure the bike fits you. And it's really important to make sure the bike fits you and you don't fit the bike. And here, a professional bike fit is a good recommendation. It's a small price to pay, yes, but can make a huge difference in the comfort you achieve on the bike. And many bike shops these days offer a bike fit free as part of buying a bike or for a very small upcharge. Because having a poorly fitted bike is a common issue for people having discomfort on a bike. A stem that's too short or too long, a saddle that's too low, too high, or the wrong shape or width handlebar. Very small differences can have a big impact on the comfort you achieve or don't achieve on a bike. And that's why I recommend a professional bike fit. Doing a bike fit over the internet is very, very tricky. You need an expert's eye to analyze your fit on a bike and see where you are going wrong. And what a bike fit would do is make sure all the contact points are in the right place. So the right length and height stem, the right width handlebar and the right shape handlebar for you, the right saddle height, 
and the correct fore and aft on the saddle and also your cleats on your shoes as well. There are plenty of bike fitters out there. A quick Google will find one in your local area or if you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below. One of the biggest causes of discomfort on a bike is the saddle. You can spend a lot of time sitting on this perch and the wrong saddle can easily cause you to have a very horrible time and make you want to quit cycling forever. But find the right saddle and you won't have any issues at all and you ride for hours and hours in pure happiness. But finding the right saddle can be a tricky job for some people. These days, saddle manufacturers have invested lots and lots of money and time into research and development around saddles and offer a wide range of options to fit most people. And they help you find the right saddle with different fit measurement systems where you sit on a pad or they measure your sit bones and try and find the right saddle shape for you. The right width, so your sit bones are well supported. The right length, a channel down the middle or no channel and different padding as well from foam to 3D printed technology, which is becoming increasingly popular at the high end. And my recommendation is to either find a good bike shop that will help you out and try and fit you in the right saddle or have a scheme where you let you try different saddles before you buy because buying different saddles is very expensive. Or find some friends or find a good club where you swap saddles and try different models because there are so many out there, you do need to try a few to find the right one. Or you might get lucky and be fine on a saddle that comes with your bike. These days, most bike manufacturers, thankfully, are much better at putting really high quality saddles on their bikes from the entry level up to the top end. So no cheap, uncomfortable saddles, even on the entry level bikes. That means more people can enjoy the experience of cycling without a sore bum. And there's no point in me recommending a saddle for you because what works for me might not work for you. This Celitalia SLR, for example, is very popular with many people, but isn't really my personal preference. So let me know your favorite saddles by leaving a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts as always. I'll assume that most of you watching this video already use a good quality cycling short with a padded insert. And another personal tip and recommendation, especially for long rides, is to use some chamois cream. The chamois cream can really improve your comfort on the bike by reducing the friction and irritation that can sometimes occur between your skin and your shorts. Even with high quality shorts, sometimes you get an irritation down below. And once it sets in, especially on a long ride, it can lead to very bad discomfort. So for long rides and even short rides these days, I always apply a liberal dose of chamois cream down below. Now this video is actually sponsored by Mokov and their range of high quality chamois cream, but I've been using this for the past month and I can highly recommend it. I've used all the creams on the market and this is right up there with the best. It comes in a big tub, a small tube for traveling for men and women, and it's easy to apply and then you're set to go. It lasts for ages. It washes out afterwards really easily as well and just gives you that peace of mind and a bit of extra insurance against discomfort on a bike ride. And Muckoff are actually offering you lovely viewers a discount on their range of chamois cream. There's a special code and link down below in the description. So go to the website, get yourself stocked up for the summer and you'll be golden. One of my favorite ways to improve comfort on a road or gravel bike it's to replace a seat post with one designed to flex more than a regular fixed seat post. Like this one from Ergon. The same as the Canyon VCLS design. It's a split seat post, two halves that act like a leaf spring and allows the saddle to move back and forth a lot more than a regular seat post. Another way to improve comfort even more than this is a suspension seat post, like the Redshift one I reviewed a few years ago. That is heavier and more expensive than this, but offers way more comfort than this can offer. But this and that rest shift are both great ways to give yourself a smooth ride in the saddle. You can go a step further and fit a suspension stem as well. And there are a few options on the market. I'm a real fan of the red shift. I'll put a link to my review and to the website down below. That's a great way to just reduce the jarring impacts that come through the handlebar, whether on the road or especially when riding off-road on gravel bikes. Yes, you are heavier, and a bit uglier if we're being really critical, but the comfort they offer is just fantastic. And for any sort of long distance riding, it's a really easy and relatively inexpensive way to improve the comfort on your bike. And definitely cheaper than buying an entire new bike. 
Road bikes like this don't offer much in the way of comfort at all. The tyres are your main source of suspension and cushioning on rough roads. But there is another simple trick and a fairly inexpensive one as well. And that is a tape wrapped around your handlebars. So one really simple way to get more comfort through the handlebar is to fit thicker bar tape. And you can go a step further and take a tip from the pros. For races like Paris-Roubaix, where they ride over the brutal cobbles, they often double wrap the bar tape. So one layer of bar tape, and then a second layer of bar tape over the top. That can give you even more comfort, twice the comfort, in fact. And you can go a step further and buy gel inserts that some manufacturers offer that you place underneath the bar tape on the drops and the tops and wrap the bar tape over, give you even more comfort. So a really simple trick that doesn't cost you a lot of money to give you a smooth ride on crappy road surfaces. Okay, I realize that for lots of you, these tips won't be anything new, but if you're new to the channel, they might be useful indeed. But what tips do you swear by? Love to hear your recommendations by leaving a comment down below. And a reminder to check out the Muck Off range of chamois cream with a special discount for you lovely viewers by using the link and code down below. And if you want to see a video of the best endurance bikes for maximizing comfort, then watch the video right up here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.